So if you guys are salmon fishermen, you know all about tape and spoons. Uh, it's a big thing. Uh, a lot of times you're out on the boat and you hear about a color or you want to change the look of a spoon a little bit and you bust out the tape box, start putting on stripes, ladder backs, all that stuff. Um, some days it makes a difference, you know, some days are really keying in on a certain color or a certain spoon. So, uh, you know, the th problem is that when you're out on the boat, you know, you're trying to dry the spoon off. It might, might not be dry, you know, you're sticking tape on quick and, uh, you know, it might catch a fish or two and then you're losing your tape and it just doesn't really stick well. So this technique I'm going to show you today, it's a great thing to do in the winter, uh, when you, you know, there's not a lot else going on. And this technique really gets your tape to uh, stick to the lure and stick to it for a long time. So you can catch many, many fish on this without having to change your tape. And the, also the other cool thing about this is you can get the tape to kind of melt into the texture of a spoon, of a textured spoon. And you can do this with trolling spoons or casting spoons. It works great. And I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. Uh, this pink and green spoon here that's in the corner of this lake trout's mouth is one I designed and taped up myself and I caught this big 22 pound lake trout on it and so that was really cool. It was a beautiful fish. Uh, I was either going to release it or get it mounted. I ended up getting it mounted and I know a lot of you guys don't like the Larry's uh, but I love the Larry's. I think they're cool fish. Um, so anyway, uh, you know, you can see some other trolling spoons I did here. These are all good colors that I've caught fish on. Um, some of these are stock, uh, old yet colors, and some of them are ones I tape myself. So uh, check out the uh, technique, guys, and if you like it, give us a like, and please consider subscribing and help us grow the channel. Thanks. Okay, guys, I wanted to show you how I tape up my spoons. Uh, we're gonna do some casting spoons here. This also works for trolling spoons, obviously. Uh, you can see this one's been bounced off the rocks a few times. Lost some paint. It's a crocodile. Stubby, it's a good spoon. These other three are Cleos. Um, just haven't done really well with these blue colors. Um, just don't have a lot of confidence in them, so we're going to tape them up. I know you guys, somebody's going to message me and tell me, oh, blue's the best, man, I catch them all on blue, but we're going to mix it up a little bit, tape some up. Um, so first thing I do is get a paper towel soaked with some rubbing alcohol and uh, clean these spoons off. You want to get any dirt or uh, residual oil or anything off these, because that's what's going to keep your tape from sticking, mostly. Um, so it's pretty easy just wipe them off then you're gonna give them just a minute to dry and uh, we'll move on to the next step here uh, these are the tapes I'm going to use uh, this green I like a lot um, I'll put that on some of my trolling spoons and casting spoons that'll look really cool when it's done uh, we have this bright pink go ahead and start with this blue one right here uh, you can pull this split ring and this treble hook, but you don't really have to. Just kind of move them off to the side. And uh, take a piece of tape and cut it so it's long enough. You don't want to waste any, but <clears throat> just make sure it's long enough to cover the spoon. And uh, go ahead and peel your tape. Stick it on here. It's gonna try and roughly follow the paint line here. see it's not looking too bad kind of covered up our eyelet here but we're gonna fix that um, you can see that totally changed the look of that spoon okay so we got it hooked in our vise here um, this is a heat and strip gun this is what really makes your tape stick oh uh, you got to get that spoon nice and hot it's also gonna meld it out of the eye 
both eyes here and just clean up the edge a little bit. So you can do all this with heat. Um, this thing gets really hot. I mean, you can start a fire with this thing if you want to, so you gotta be careful. Um, just go slow and kind of watch your tape. You don't want to burn it, melt it, obviously. You just want to get the spoon good and hot, so here we go. Oh yeah, that's hot. Just kind of work it with your fingers a little bit. I can't hold on to it for too long though because it's really hot. But this is what's really, really going to make that tape stick. A lot of times you're out on the boat and you're trying to tape a spoon pattern up quick and it works, but catch a fish on it half the tapes off it and it's beat up and if you can do this at home it's a great thing to do in the winter um, you can really do a good job of it like I'm doing here and uh, your lures will hold up a lot better and we're gonna call that good so there we turned a blue and silver Cleo to uh, green and silver. Boy, that bad boy's hot too. There we go. All right, let's do another one. I'll show you guys how this works with these textured spoons too. This technique works really well when you get that tape hot. You can get it right down in the the print of that spoon. So we'll do that one next. A little bit. That's better. Okay, here we go. Heat. You want to heat it a little bit? You can see already it's starting to uh, take on the texture of the spoon much better. It's just warm to the touch at this point though. see already I actually think this works really well with these textured spoons I think they end up looking pretty sharp Now it's really sinking into those dimples. See that? I hope you can see that here with the video. Yeah, we're just kind of heating and massaging it into the texture of the spoon. Okay. That's it. Those two done. Um, let's see, well, let's do a pink here. I haven't done a pink yet. Mm. This tape's really similar to the green. Basically the same tape. It's just like a fluorescent pink. Another good color. Works really well for the coho there around.
Okay, so here at the top, let's see if I can get a close up here of this. I'm gonna heat just the top here. Try and clean that eyelet out. You can get this here. See that? Open right up. That's it. And again, that tape is going to stick to that spoon for a long time. You're going to get a lot of good fishing out of that versus just uh, just doing it with a sort of dry spoon on the boat. So that's it, guys. That's how you want to tape up your spoons. It's a great thing to do in the wintertime. You got cabin fever and get some trolling spoons out, tape up some new colors, or like us, we're going to hit the pier tomorrow. So uh, just putting a fresh, fresh look on some old casting spoons there. So hopefully it works out for you guys and uh, leave a comment, let us know and give us a like and think about subscribing if you liked it. Thanks guys.